Hi guys, it's my Scotch 2 channel and I'm back. It's, um, I'm all healed from my boo-boo yesterday. Still kind of bruised, but at least I have the band-aid off. Yesterday I had to do a little bit of painting for fun. I just use these little um, composition books to paint in or play in and like this is some of the stuff that I've done. Land of the Polar Bear. I just thought I'd show y'all something different. This this is just like scrapbooking or just fun stuff I, I do with the kids. And um, I get the they each have a notebook. But my new piece yesterday was this. I did me some flowers. I was feeling a little blue. It was thundering. I'd hurt my finger and all that stuff. So nothing fabulous, just a little quick paint job. I did it with my granddaughter. She'd come from the movies with, with my husband, with grandpa. She'd been out to the movies to see Angry Birds. And they said it was real good. And I gave her my sketchbook. I have a sketchbook. And, um, yep. And this is what she sketched. And she did that without referencing any picture. And I thought that was pretty fabulous. She just sat there and sketched that out while I was painting. So, I thought it was real cute. Anyway, that's some other things I do besides open jewelry boxes and sell on eBay and all that good stuff. I um, have a few more things to show. So, we'll get started. One thing I had, I collected these buttons throughout the uh, digging out of the 24-pound box. And as I show, I'm going to throw in this box so we don't have any more confusion like I did on the other tape. Oh, and haven't I shown that before? Eesh. That was... I was sorting earrings last night. And I came across this little ring. A very pretty little ring. Somehow it got thrown into the, the earring stash. It's got all its little rhinestones. I don't see markings on it. But it's just a very pretty little ring. Very nice stacking ring, too. So that was that one. I found this pendant in the <laughs> earring. Oh, goodness, if I can get it open. It's a copper looking with uh, black and gray and clear rhinestones. And then here's your bell. So that's really pretty. And the next is Oh, I really like this. It's, it's handmade. You know, I like artsy stuff. And they used a <laughs> Miller Lite bottle cap. Put a little pin on the back. But look at this. A little dragonfly. It's either dragonfly or mosquito. I don't know. Kind of looks like a little mosquito, doesn't it? But it's a dragonfly. Very cute. I really like that. I'm funny. I like funny things. I'm very ec eclectic in what I like in jewelry. I'm like that with uh, decorating my house. Everything. Here's another pretty pendant with a prayer in it. But it's done in Spanish. Padre Nuestro que estás en el, our Father who art in heaven, maybe, I don't know. Um, I don't know what ED force is either. It's a nice pendant. 
it's like a dog, uh, dog tag. It's like a ID tag that men wear in uniform, inspired. This has got something else written under here. Let's see if we can, stainless steel. Yeah, I thought it was stainless steel. So this is a really nice piece. I'll have to see if uh, Emilio's daddy knows what that says. Emilio, Easton's daddy knows what that says. Easton is my great grandson. This was a little, these were two rings I found in the earring. One's an abalone band. It's got real pretty shell in it. See that? And then the other one was a whale tail. And I believe it's marked. Maybe not. I don't think it was magnetic anyway. Let's see. That one is. But this one was not. So I think this was silver. The whale tail, I believe, is silver. It would have to be tested. The next item is a little stretchy bracelet with a glass bead, a very unusual glass bead. And these are glass. They're either glass or ceramic. Very cold. No, they're glass. Let's see. It's a little loose on me. It's a very pretty bracelet, though. I think it's very um, natural looking. I don't know how to describe it. Kind of beachy. Just very nice. that piece and then we have a necklace and this is a necklace it's done on a gunmetal color with a lobster claw clasp it's a very large la lobster claw clasp it has an extender with a bead And it's three-stranded. And then here are the beads. Pretty colored. It's a very pretty necklace. The beads are... I believe they're acrylic. Now this one feels cold here. These feel cold, some do not feel as cold. These feel like they're acrylic. But these right here feel like they're glass. And then you have your metal filigree beads. So you have a mix of beads on here. your smaller beads here, your lobster claw clasp, your extender, it's in a dark metal, it's in great shape, these are gray beads, and then you come to black fasted, gray um, with an opalescent look to them, these, the black fasted and the red, the black fasted and the gray, you can see the pattern. These are all acrylic. Fairly long necklace. Uh, next 
item are some tack pens. You might have seen some of these already. I am thinking. Here's a cross, silver tone. There's an angel and a heart. There we go. Not sure this has got Aladdin's lamp on it. Di director's on a roll. This one is, I don't know. Have the American flag heart. And I've got another one of those and another cancer awareness. Always get lots of those too. Next one is a Christmas brooch. Mr. and Mrs. Snowman. And silver tone. Here's the back. I don't see any signatures. I don't know, there looks like there may be something right there, like an LC. Liz Claiborne, very cute. Next one is a silver tone, oval and round loops, chains, and a really pretty chain. Multi-stranded. There's your lobster claw and your extender with the bead. Either two and a half to three inches. Here's the lobster claw. Chain is in great shape. You got your double chains. And then your graduating hoops with chain stations. That's a real pretty necklace. Yesterday we had some great, a lot of thunderstorms. It's a crazy day. It's a little bracelet with a toggle clasp. And you got hope, love, and a cross. It's all in great shape. These beads fill acrylic, and then you have your little pearl beads. You do have some metal beads in here, the metal stations here. Here's a pretty necklace. You have a small extender with a lobster claw, a medium sized chain, and these beautiful beads. Let's see what we got going. The chains must be twisted here. Yeah, there we go. These are smoky color glass beads. And prong set, opaque, colored, beautiful colored. They almost look like um, opalite, opalite beads. That a prong set. That's a beautiful necklace. A lot of shine there. These are cold, so they're crystals. That's a 
fabulous necklace. I need to stop and eat. I'll do one more. Um, this one's dated 1981, the globe. Lucky charm. The spring ring clasp is broken, I believe, or just is stuck. I'm not going to try to fix it online. If I can't fix it, I'll replace it. I'm going to put it in craft lot. Next is a necklace, very long necklace. Starts with a lobster claw clasp with an extender. And I'd say that extender is probably about three inches. And then we have this fine little baby chain. And on the end you have this bar. The end of side. Let's see if it says anything because that just texture. Uh, that's just texture on the back of that. It's a real dainty little bar. Let's see if that bar is magnetic. It is not, but the chain is. There's no markings on the little bar. And the next necklace is a nautical. I think it's either a necklace or a bracelet. If I take it out, I can't tell. It's a bracelet. It's very nautical. The enameling on it's beautiful. And it's on both sides, so no matter which way you see the bracelet, you're going to get the same look, which I like that. It's in a matted gold color. Give you a little closer look. Let's see if I can spread it out on my hand. The next one is, oh, look at that little bundle, of, a beautiful pastel colored cat's eye beads on a silver chain, looks like a rope chain, very pretty. There's your class, you have a little hang tag and it says Claire's. I like that, that's very pretty. It'd be nice to have some earrings to match that. Let's see. The next one we have is a little pink beaded bracelet. Starts with the lobster claw class. There's no extender on this one. Ball chain. I can't tell if that's the metal or the beads that are cold. Very pretty little pink beads. Then you have that little dangling piece. I believe these beads to be acrylic. pretty. 
Very pretty colors. is a gold time state necklace yes here's the lobster claw class with an extender medium sized chain there's no tarnish on the chain I love this look this necklace is in great shape I don't see any tarnish Looks like it hadn't been worn. It's probably why it's in good shape. I like the way they spaced it with the little beads between. That's just pretty. Next piece is a little charm-like bracelet. It's got this little flower again, and that is high, high enter, enter city. High interest city, is that the brand for that flower? Let's see. We are here to the ideals and principles that this nation believes in. No, it's I N T E N City. High Enton City. Not enter, but Enton. And then here's the little bracelet. Little happy birthday. Friends, a flower, another flower. Very cute. Let's see if it's magnetic. Yes, it's magnetic, but it's a very cute little bracelet for a girl. Birthday girl. Next, I believe, is a silver tone heart pendant. It is a pendant. I, there's the clasp. It's a fine chain. And there's the heart. Both sides of the heart. Very cute. It's very magnetic. The heart is not. But I don't see any markings. So it may just be stainless. It's a cute little necklace. The next one is pearls. Thinking, yes, it's a bracelet. No really the color of the pearls is very pretty. White pearl. Just glides on. Very comfortable bracelet. It's not one of my favorite. I don't particularly like all this show one. But it is, a, and this one it's broken off of that. So I'd probably put that in a craft lot because those are beautiful pearls. The luster on them is real nice. Pretty color white. The 
The next one is a ring. I believe it was gold over copper because I can see copper coming through. Up. No, I don't see copper coming through. This is tarnished. A rose. All these are, um, it's not missing any of the rhinestones. Pave set with the flower overlay. It's a rather large ring. Let's see if I can find my ring. There it is. Ring sizer. Oh, I do see something written in here. See if we can read that first. No, nope, I can't see it. Well, let's size it and then I'll loop it. Yeah, I thought it was fairly large. It is a ten and a half. Says on the inside. Ooh, I can't read it. Let's see if I can read it this way. Eighteen carat. 18 karat gold. G E R S. Gold electroplated. Gold electroplated, I guess. 18 karat. G E R S. That's what it says. Ten and a half. Next item is a pretty little bracelet with rhinestone stations in a square setting. Got a lobster claw clasp. My dad was a Marine, and uh, so I grew up seeing the Marine Corps with him, and uh, it's just kind of a part of our life. There you go. So you can see it. Let's see if it's magnetic. It's not magnetic. So this could be sterling, but I don't see any markings on it. Of course, I haven't looped it. No. So that would have to be tested. TFS. That means test with silver. TFS. Next is a very dainty chain with a long extender and a lobster claw clasp. Here's your lobster claw clasp. There's your extender. The chain is fine. It's got little stations of beads. I should get on this part of my hand. At the end, you've got this little metal disc. There's nothing engraved on it. And I'd say this chain is... It's 24 inches long. It's a 
it's a nice and with an extender so that did not include the extender the 24 inches all right guys um stay tuned for probably part 12 i think this was part 11 i'll have to check and uh, i'll be back in a few thank you for watching my videos